Hey, what's up, guys? I just had to talk about Oyster Girl. I mean, she's gone viral. Everybody's talking about it. And I, I just, I have to put my two cents in. Where do I begin? I don't know. But this is crazy as hell. It's funny as hell. It's just, I don't even know where to begin. But first of all, fellas, when you're taking these girls out on dates, you need to take them to Applebee's. You need to take them shoot maybe even wendy's right you shouldn't take them to a a nice restaurant not not on the first date no you know why because you need to know if she really rock with you if she really rock with you she'll be happy to go to mcdonald's with you she'll be happy to go to applebee's with you you know what i mean she'll be happy to go you know to an okay restaurant you know what i mean you got women out here they they're complaining about going to the cheesecake factory What's wrong with the Cheesecake Factory? I wouldn't even recommend you take a girl, if it's your first date, to the Cheesecake Factory, okay? If you really get money, if you're a young man out here and you really get money, don't pick her up in that scat. Don't pick her up in that hell cat, whatever it is you driving. Pick her up in a beater, okay? Pick her up in something that works, but it doesn't look too nice. You know what I'm saying? If you really want to find out if she rock with you, pick her up in a beater. Pick her up in a borderline raggedy car. Take her to Applebee's. Take her to Wendy's. Take her to Waffle House. Take her somewhere like that. Now, if you don't care, if you don't care about the chick, if you if you just, you know, want to date her and go and have fun you're not looking for nothing serious i mean hey do what you want to do take her wherever you want to take her pick her up in your in your fly car or whatever it is but if you really want to know if a chick rock with you you got to test her man these women out here i don't i don't even know where to begin they have multiple dates throughout the week they don't even have to buy groceries they don't have to do anything they got Tom, Dick, Harry, Joe, and Blow taking them out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, okay? You just so happen to be Friday or Wednesday, okay? These, it, it, it's crazy out here, you know? So, first of all, like I said, don't take them to a nice restaurant. Take them to an okay restaurant. Okay, so bam, you take them to an okay restaurant. The day goes fine. You know, everything's okay and you plan a second date right so if she comes on a second date with you you took her to wendy's you took her to applebee's you took her to waffle house you took her someplace like that you picked her up in your beater car or your okay car and she goes on a second date with you then hey maybe you can you know take her you know take her to longhorn or something or outback or you know you can bump it up a notch you know what i'm saying um but yeah, you know, if you are a young man out here and you having your way, right, and you get money and you are, you know, out here doing your thing, you know, you you need to test, you need to test her. You need to test uh, this young lady or whoever, you know, um, you need to find out if they really rock with you because these women... I'm not going to say most of them, but half of them are no good. They're no good at all. They they look at you like uh, a debit card. You know, you are the guy, the food guy. You the food guy. Or you the, the phone bill guy or the car payment guy, whatever it is. And they got like three or four of them. You know, so you have to keep that in mind. I'm not I'm not saying all women, but I'm saying there are a lot of women like this. You know, they have they have multiple dates lined up. They have multiple guys paying for their bills. They have multiple guys doing this, doing that for them. You got to keep those things in mind. Uh, so, you know, you know, don't be out here wasting your time and your energy and your resources for no reason. I don't know about y'all, but there's nothing, there's only really two things to me that's more important than my money. And that's God and my, and my family. Other than that, it's nothing in this world more important to me than money. And I would hate to waste it on um, someone that doesn't appreciate it. So make sure that you vent these women, okay? Because 
they just look at you like you a sucker. They just look at you like you are their freaking debit card. So, uh, like I was saying, if she can't go to Wendy's with you, if she can't go to Applebee's with you, then she's not the one, you know? So, bam, y'all made it, Pat. Y'all are on the second date, right? So, you know, you can bump it up a notch. You know, that's fine. Um, you know, nothing too special, but you know, you can, you can upgrade the date a little bit, you know, make her appreciate you, you know, make her, uh, you know, earn and, uh, earn your time, earn your presence. So now fellas, I know it hurts. I know it's sad, but all women, I'm not going to say all. I'm gonna say 95% of all women want you for your resources, okay? They want you for your money. They want you for your resources. They want you for your, um, for your money and for your resources. That's what they want you for. Now, that's okay. That's fine because guess what? That's a man's job. A man's job is to provide and to protect. But you must know that 95% of these women out here want you for your resources. And, and that's it. So don't take it personal. Don't, don't take it to heart and feel bad about yourself because oh she only want me for my money she only want me for my resources that that's just the world that's the world that we live in that's 95 percent of these chicks out here that's that's what they want you for you're a great provider and you are a great protector and that's what a man is supposed to do so don't feel bad when or if you feel like oh she only wants me because of my money she only wants me because of my resources that that's just life don't don't get down and out about it. That's how 95% of these women are. That's the that's the world that we live in. Okay? So I just I've never understood why people say, "Oh, she's only with him for his money or, you know, she's only with him because of this." Yeah, that that's that's the way the world works. You know, that's that's just the way that it is. If you don't have money, you don't have any resources, you don't have anything like that, you mean nothing to her. There's nothing that you can do for her. There is no reason for her to have you. There's no reason for her to have you around, okay? If you can't provide for her, if you can't do anything for her, how are you gonna take care of the children? How are you gonna keep a roof over your head? you know, food on the table, clothe, clothe the, the, your family. How, you know, how are you going to be able to do any of that? So it's hardwired in her to think like that, okay? But don't be her fool, right? Don't be her stepping stool. Now back to Oyster Girl. So old buddy that took Oyster Girl out on a date, specifically said that he was going out for drinks. He wanted to take her out for drinks, right? So they met up. She started ordering all this food, all these oysters, right? And I think, I believe she ate 48 oysters. Okay, first of all, how in the hell was she able to eat 48 oysters, raw oysters? I, I like my oysters cooked. I couldn't even... I couldn't, it would be hard for me to eat 48 cooked oysters, right? I mean, I could do it, but I would have to make myself do it, right? I mean, that that's just ridiculous. You didn't eat 48 raw oysters? Oh my Lord. Then she ordered crab cakes and potatoes, I believe. And she ordered some drinks. She ran up a $200 bill, right? So old buddy, he excused himself and went to the bathroom, right? Now, if it was me, when she would have brought out that second tray, no, 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 I would have let her have two. She, she would have got a pass on the second one. But when she would have ordered that third one, I would have been like, oh, no, uh-uh, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. Like, th this must this must be your meal because you you doing a little too much. After the second one, 
yeah, we it, it would have been over. Now, I would have said something to her directly. I wouldn't have just excused myself and went to the bathroom. I would have said something to her. You know, I would have, you know, uh, let it be known. If you asked her out for uh, drinks, then, you know, she should have ordered drinks, right? Uh, you should have just expressed yourself to her and not just left and, 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 and got out of there. I mean, I'm not knocking you for doing that, but you could have expressed your feelings. Um, but yeah, I mean, hey, she was like, hey, old girl was like, hey, I got another sucker. I'm finna run this bill up. You know, I'm, I'm about to order everything on here and you gonna pay for it. And old buddy was like, nah, that's not what we doing. And uh, you know, it's, it's just trifling. You know, somebody asks you out for drinks and you accept and then you start ordering all this food. I mean, that that's just crazy. You know, you could have at least asked you know, maybe, I don't know, but I just, I just think that's crazy. But, you know, big ups to my boy because, you know, he did ask her out for drinks. Okay. So he wasn't trying to, uh, spend that much money before getting to know this chick. And guess what? That, that was a, uh, a smart decision on his part. But uh, I'm I'm just tripping on how old girl was able to slurp all that food down like that. Like, I mean, God damn. I mean, she was acting like she ain't ate in about two or three days. I mean, she over here grunting and slurping and just, man, she in oyster heaven, boy. I'm like, oh, my God. But, uh, yeah, man, that, that video is a trip. It is a trip. And it's hilarious, very entertaining. And uh, yeah, man, I just wanted to put my little two cents in. And uh, fellas, you know, be careful out here. You know, um, don't let these these women take advantage of you. Don't let them, you know, uh, run a tab up and they're not serious about you. They just using you, you know. Take care of yourself. I'm out.